Norma. Norma. <laughs> Emma and Ray and most of the Gracefield kids have escaped and now encountered Sonju and this mysterious demon girl. Hopefully this means they found a safe haven? Or are they really in fact in the belly of the beast? Welcome back to our channel guys and if you're new here, welcome for the first time. I'm Kat. And I'm Sadie. And this is our Two, Two Cents. But for real though, they're on edge, I'm on edge. I don't know. I don't know. Like, we're hoping the rest of the kids are there and they're safe. Maybe they're holding them hostage? <laughs> Maybe these two are, in fact, criminals or not criminals, villains. I feel like they could be criminals to the demons. Or oh, like, out yeah. And yeah. They don't follow their laws or right. something. Right. So maybe that means they're good at hiding. They're good at running away. At least Sanju was. Yeah. But he just swooped in like, jlink. <laughs> that's what he did yeah. too. In the animation though, that's what it was. Like his Ray's head was on the floor and then suddenly he's just like floating. <laughs> and then you don't even see Sanju or the not horse thing. That's how quick it was. Does that mean they're good guys? Who knows? Hopefully it does. I would like for them to be good guys. These kids need some kind of allies in this world. Yeah, exactly. It looks like they were waiting for them too. Maybe. Because the girl was like, oh, you escaped the farm. Right, yeah. Hopefully that means they're their allies. But I feel like somewhere along the line there's going to be a twist. Some type of twist. Either with them, or with William Minerva, or something. Yeah. But, now that they've encountered these two, I'm kind of wondering if they're still going to continue on their goal towards uh, William Minerva's, like, I don't know, location. location. Or will they just, like, learn to live wherever they are currently? I don't think they're going to stay here. I think they are gonna keep moving. Keep going. If these two are in fact good, do you think they'll they'll go with them? Maybe at least for part of the way. If they are allies and they want to help them, I think they're gonna try to keep them alive for as long as possible. Like maybe they'll be like, okay, we'll get you here and then we'll come back. Do they want to help them or do they want the kids to help with their goal? Not that we really know what their motivations are as of yet. I guess I'm assuming they're like settled in this place that they brought the kids to. Maybe they're just living there. Hmm. But maybe they could have some kind of group where they like help yeah. each other out. Yeah, I guess I'm, I'm curious if they have a motivation aside from like staying alive. Mm -hmm. I also kind of wonder though, since they did get away from this hunter demon, if they're gonna send out like stronger demons or if it'll just be mm. the same guy like on their trail. Right. The opening has like a big, like almost army. Yeah. And this guy didn't seem to have it, so. Or will they take this guy out and then they'll send more? Oh. I don't know. So let's just get on into this episode and see if they're actually good guys. Let's go! And as always, if you guys want this to be in high quality, or if you want to check out our extended episode reactions, click the I for a Patreon or the link in the description. Let's go! They're all ready to fight. <laughs> You're not our food. Oh, she just smiles. Mujika. Mujika. Oh. oh, she's lost? Oh, <laughs> just... Oh, oh. She's scared of these little yeah. things. Oh, oh, they are eating. <laughs> I wonder if they all went to visit them. <laughs> I knew it. They're playing it up. Yeah. Oh, she's so sweet. Oh, she's got like six fingers. Oh, I like his hair. Oh, she gonna pray? Oh. Did they pray in the grace field? Oh. Oh, That's weird. yeah. Like offering thanks, but like palms up. Interesting. It's oh. good. I guess his hunger hit him suddenly. Yeah. Of course they are. They're worried. How could they just sleep? Yes. I Give us that. answers, please. Yeah. Religious oh, reasons. I wonder if that's how. That's why they're so small. Oh, maybe. Eh? It's been longer than that? So is the calendar wrong? Oh no, it's wrong. The years restarted? How long was this fight? This battle? So there are just certain humans that are like... The world in two? Oh. So there is a human side. Potentially? 
Oh, they were just unlucky? So I wonder if that location on the map is the other side. The human side. But it's still Earth, so where do the demons come from? Oh! So they're thinking that as soon as they reach the human side, they'll be okay. Yeah. But I don't know. Uh -oh. They're gonna prove it wrong. I think so. But I'm sure the other side wouldn't be happy about this, them breaking through either. Right. To the exit of the forest. Of the forest? What's on the other side of the exit? My demon city? I don't know. Oh, I was like, yeah. Their trail. Oh, yeah, I thought they might see this. Go. <gasps> it was the, the, the coordinate, there. right? Yeah. Oh, crap. Oh, so they don't live here. I figured as much because of the ending. The way they're just oh, traveling that's around. True, yeah. So these books are like that old, right? Potentially? Maybe not. Um, Oh my gosh. That's quite ambitious. Yeah. Aww. Even Ray's helpful. What is this pep talk? Oh, yeah. Dang, Gilda. <laughs> oh my goodness. That's true. Nobody scolded her. Demo, dude, she's scary. Uh oh. I like this echo. Oh. Hmm? Definitely would have done. This horse, horse, no, not, not a horse. Oh no! Oh my gosh. Yeah. They're like they're two pillars of support. <laughs> oh, as well as it ends. Right. Not yet, anyway, but for this part, yeah. Oh, oh so like, cook. She's like their new sister. Mm hmm. Or mom? Mama? Mama. Sanji's a sister? <laughs> for religious reasons. That's so interesting. That's so peaceful right now. I know. It's <laughs> not showing up. And what? <laughs> this one? Nice! He's a natural. Oh, so yeah. Hmm. I wonder if there were more demons that would not eat humans for religious reasons. Probably if and they follow the been... same religion. Yeah. Oh, but if they've just been, like, movie? destroyed. Oh, oh nice! Oh. Is he intelligent? That's not a horse thing? Maybe. He seems to understand it, right? Oh. What is it, the ferret thing? Is that gonna reach? Oh, it's oh. a bird. Hmm, it's that way. <gasps> Should get it? Uh, oh, these flowers. Death flowers. Gupna? Gupna? <gasps> Oh, like what they do? Right? Oh, that's part of their religion. Or at least their ways. Is this what the other ones, other demons do too? It seems like it. They did that and then they could eat them. Oh, she wants to pray. Come on. Oh. Oh, wow. Is it what happened to Connie? Wow, so that's what it's for. <gasps> it does bloom red because it drinks the it sucks the blood out, right? Yeah. Wow. I thought they was just like a I can't believe this is the reason for that. Yeah. That's crazy. She's back, she's different though. Cause she goes hiding things. Uh-huh. What did we just talk about, Emma? Oh, that's, <gasps> oh, that's it. So it is like a cross. Yeah. I thought they were just alluding, like being like, oh, whatever. That's so cool though. Okay. I just, that's, ah, that's so cool. The fact that they have religion. But we still don't know where they came from. These two? The demons. Oh, the demons, yeah, yeah. So there's still a lot we don't know about this world. But it's been 
a thousand years, at least, yeah. since this whole system was created. Right. Damn. Now knowing that it has been like a long time since the system has been in place, I do wonder if William Minerva, like if his information is even accurate anymore. Because how did these books reach the farm, get within the farm for the kids to read? Right, because I was trying to remember, these books that they've read about this world, it's kind of like modern, right? Like it's things that would have happened maybe in like the last 50 years or something. Right, so I think the, the last book they have is from 2015. I remember seeing that in one of the episodes. Unless the way, like, he's actually from, like, within the demon society, and so that's how he's sneaking in books. Because I'm sure they come from within the demon society, because they want the kids to be smart. Uh. But they have good brains. So is he a demon? Or is he a human working with the demons? I like, I wonder if this human side of the world is just, like, like our world. Right? Or is it is it actually like in a dystopia type state? Maybe it, the, this other world, this other human world is like modern. That's what I think. Era. Because they've, they've been alone for, they've been, you know, not hunted for a thousand years. Mm -hmm. So they've been able to develop. And then somehow this William Minerva just, I guess, writes these tellings, the history of humans, and then the books just get sent over. But he encoded this, like, code. Maybe William Minerva already escaped from this world. Guess? It's possible. Nothing yeah. to say otherwise. Like, I guess I'm thinking at least it's possible others had escaped before. Mm. Yeah, Sonju just said he had never heard of anybody escaping, right. but... Doesn't mean anything. <laughs> Meaning that if they were, if, when, they cross over to the human society, I don't feel like their reception there will be great. They're not gonna get like a warm reception if they're discovered. I do wonder though, like, if that is the end game, or yeah, if they don't get a good reception, or even if there will be some who feel differently and they're like, no, we should take every human. Like, I'm sure there's different ideologies on that too. Mm hmm. I guess it's just, um, if they were to take them in, they're breaking the pact, and so this like peace treaty basically, and so demons could go, could potentially go and like, Kill every human. So Not really kill every just human. Ends with back to the square one. I know. I know. Unless they kill all the demons before then. No, I've like, like with all they, that they've told us so far, it's like I don't know what their, what the end is gonna be like. Cause they have really big goals. Yeah, exactly. They want to save all these children, but that's kind of like. A peace offering to keep the demons away. Exactly, yeah, yeah. So, are they just gonna, like you said, over overthrow this system that they have? Are they gonna find a, a, a paradise somewhere else? And just live go to the there? Moon. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I just agree, like, yeah. Like you said, it, it, there, there's probably other ideology on the other side, mm -hmm. so have there been humans that try and topple this system as well? I feel like if I knew that on the other side of the world there were children being farmed and bred to die just so that I could have peace, I'd feel bad, to yeah. say the least. So maybe there's some resistance, or do the demons have that much of a, like, control of the humans? Damn it, it stopped. Oh. I don't know. I am pleased that I don't know. I'm sure there's a lot go that could go into that, but I think that's way later. Yeah. I just, I guess I'm glad that I can't try and predict what's gonna happen. Like, it's oh, keeping yeah. me guessing, right. you know? I can't be like, oh, okay, that's their end game, cool, nice. It's like, the journey is a mystery and the destination too. <laughs> so, woo! Oh, actually though, one of the things I have, I had been thinking about was that what if this whole escape and like trying to reach this other destination is also part of a test? to like get their brains to really develop. <laughs> I, I don't think so, but it's just a little thought I had in the back of my head. Just like, oh, that'd be sad. <laughs> I wouldn't be surprised by it though. So their plan right now is just for Sanja and Mujiha to take them as far as the exit of the forest, right? Mm? Not through the wastelands or anything. No, not that we know of. Do you think it's gonna go that way? That that'll be like the last we see of them? No. Right. 
No, they're in the opening and the ending. No. Like, they seem like they stick with them in the opening. Yeah. Unless getting to this wasteland takes this whole season. That's true. <laughs> Maybe it takes forever to get to the exit of the forest. Mm-hmm. But I do hope we see them for a quite a while. Mm-hmm. I like them. I like both their characters. Mm-hmm. We don't know what their connection is, right? To each other? To each other? No. Just, I guess, they're, they're, they're similar in their feet. Right, that's it. That's mm-hmm. so far. Yeah, I'm kind of feeling like maybe there was a larger group of them, and right. they're the only ones that are left. Right, because where did this faith come from? Mm-hmm. It has to have been passed down somehow. This whole world is just so interesting, though. Mm-hmm. There's just, oh, I feel like there's so much to learn, and they're just giving us tiny little, tiny bites of it. But I guess that's what makes it interesting. <laughs> I do like that we're kind of learning about it with the kids. As like, the kids, yeah. Their, everything they thought is so different now, so we're like, whoa, what the heck? Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. It wouldn't be fair, I think, if they're left in the dark, but we know everything about what's Who going on. I think that's what it is. Yeah. yeah, exactly. So I agree. I like this type of storytelling. Mm-hmm. Oh, it's just... It's <sighs> just... <sighs> Mujika and Sonju are indeed good guys, and they are helping our kids. Hopefully they can get them to where they're going, but we're just going to have to see more of this progress in the next episode. None of this would be possible without all of your support, and we just want to give a special thanks to Brandon Scott, Dyke D. Menenwente, Luis A. Sandoval, Chris Poveroni, Phoenix Yang, Jargo, Takeshi, Jacob, Conroy, Kokos, Jim Fungbrandt, Nato, Deon, Brian and Mika and Joku, Anna Chelly, Mike Edwards, DJ Cunning, Kazu, Jacob Tompkins, Hilarix, Manny, Danny Chavez, Albane Garan, and Alan Ventura. It's thanks to the support of all these wonderful people and all of our patrons on our Patreon that we can keep making videos like this one. Thank you guys. So much. Thank you guys. You guys are awesome. If you like what you're seeing, be sure to give it a big thumbs up and hit that subscribe button. And if you want to see more, you can check out our past videos. Don't forget, you can follow us on our socials, linked in the description. Thanks for watching. Please stay safe, everyone, and we hope to see you next time. Bye. Bye.